Hi, my name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply, and today we're going to make a batch of biodiesel in a BioPro 190. Before we get started, we're going to titrate this oil. This oil is so good that we don't have to use the pre-measured amounts of chemicals. To kind of give you a review, we've got a sample of oil. We're going to be using some isopropyl alcohol to titrate it with. I have some titration solution pre-titrated up, and I've got some phenolphthalein here that we'll titrate it with, so let's get started. Get 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol to start. I like to put a bubble on the top of my syringes because they're easier to read this way. There's 10 mils. Put that in here. And then we will put a um, milliliter of oil. Again, I like to do a bubble on the top. Then I come down. milliliter right there. Get that in there. I'm going to put a little drops of uh, phenolphthalein in here. Doesn't take much at all. Shake that up. Let's titrate. Okay, so I've got one milliliter of oil, 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol in here, and I'm going to suck up about 10 mils of titration solution. My titration solution is a KOH mix of one gram of KOH to one liter of distilled water. Okay, I'm just going to swirl this around. I already know this oil is pretty darn good oil, so yeah, it's turning pink pretty darn quick. I don't think it's going to take much at all. And we're there. So it took a milliliter is all. We'll titrate this three times just to be safe and check it, but a milliliter of oil is all this oil took, so we got some good oil here. So again, I've got 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol, one milliliter of oil, and I'm just gonna titrate this again. And look at that turning pink. Yeah, we're almost pink all the way through. There we go, we're pink. Another milliliter. One more to go. Titration number three. 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol, a milliliter of oil, and titration solution. Let's go. Oh yeah, look at that pink. And again, milliliter of oil right on the button. So I like to do three titrations because I like to take the average of all of them. In this case, it titrated one every single time. Guess what? My titration's one. So if I'm using potassium hydroxide to make biodiesel, I would take the seven divided by my purity, which is about 0.90, and gets me to 7.8, and then I would add to it my titration, which is one. So to make this batch of oil in the BioPro over here, using potassium hydroxide, I would use uh, eight 8.8 grams for every liter. Okay, so to make a batch of biodiesel in BioPro using the titrating oil of one, I figured it up to 1,672 grams of potassium hydroxide. Everything else will be the same. Again, that's a heck of a lot less than using the 2350 that it calls for, but this oil titrates so well that I don't need to waste the chemicals to make um, to make biodiesel. So 2350 grams of potassium hydroxide is what the machine normally calls for. I get to use because my oil titrated so low, 1672 grams of potassium hydroxide. We're going to titrate this oil using sodium hydroxide uh, based titration solution as well. To do that, you make up a titration solution of one liter of water, one gram of sodium hydroxide, and then everything else is the same. So we've got that mixture mixed up right here. By the way, just for your information, if your titration solution gets old, after about 90 days, you really ought to replace it. It can start um, throwing your titrations off. They'll actually get higher than they need to be. So this is our titration solution here. This is isopropyl alcohol in the oil. We're gonna suck up 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. Put it in our container. We're gonna do one milliliter of our oil. Again, I like to put a bubble on top of it and come down. A couple drops of the phenolphthalein. Cap that up. Shake that a bit. And let's titrate it and see what she gets. So it's 
It's going a little purple there. Oh yeah, now we're going purple. Look at that. Wow, nice deep purple. Uh, that's um, about a three, about a quarter of a milliliter. So that turned really, really quick. We know now that we're gonna to need to add about 1140 grams of sodium hydroxide or 1,672 grams of potassium hydroxide to this batch of oil to make a batch. So.